I'm an artist, but uh, very uh, slowly questioning what that really is anymore. But for 50, 50 years or more, I've gone from making sculpture to, to making sound, to making electronic images, video, text, sound, and then combining them in um, numerous ways. And through all that time, there's a kind of uh, approach to what is between those various mediums. And I've probably over that time uh, gone from a, actually early on, a more aesthetic approach, uh, a visual approach to a more conceptual, processual approach to, to uh, thinking about art. It's, it's, it's become more of a kind of, I guess, philosophy rather than an art making um, endeavor. And as I get older, wrapped up in that is certainly the issue of mortality, which brings up the issue of time and space and uh, how to, to proceed between the bookends of, of, of life and death <laughs> afterward. This has a lot to do with memory. I, I've done a number of, of works that deal with the, the wide spectrum of light and darkness and very much to do with after image, but then kind of taking the idea of after image and thinking about memory in, the, in, a, in a similar vein so that there's a, there's a kind of uh, an accumulation of after images and the, the, the memory of, of, of words spoken, and then also the, the, uh, the, the auditory reverberations of, of speech, and then all of these things kind of enfolding upon each other and a narrative kind of emerging from these or overlappings. This afterwards will be somewhat different in the sense that I will be developing it on site and writing the text that goes with the work from somewhat things that, I, that are percolating in my head right now, but then those are kind of uh, triggered by seeing the space and also objects that are available around in and around the space or this, the, the town or the city or whatever. Then working with images in relationship to those, to the text, well, it's difficult to actually explain any work because it is afterwards. <laughs> M much of this w will take place as a, you know, physiologically, I, I suppose, in, in, the, in the person, in the viewer's eyes and consciousness and subconscious. Much of it is in pitch blackness, and then we get kind of hints of images that we're not even necessarily sure if it is an image that is being provided or is it an image from our own memory, whether that be conscious or an after image of the physiological makeup of the eye. So anyway, it's a lot of it is something that will emerge there, and this is what is kind of exciting about it for me. So it's it's kind of a performance in some sense, a, a, a stretched out performance. <laughs>